this is the solution of changing the past to guiltlessness. As has been given perspective for in the video interview of guilt as entrapment. Guilt exists as the slave relationship between self within and as the emotion of guilt within and as the mind system. And guilt exists by the perception and idea that one has deceived another. Because apparently the other trusted you and you apparently deceived their trust and then experienced guilt. When in truth the relationship formation of the other human being and placing your trust separate from yourself, outside of yourself, and in manifesting a relationship with that other being, which is also of separation outside of self, guilt is manifested because of self-honesty, of self-dishonesty within self. How? Firstly, a relationship placement of trust outside of self is separation. Secondly, a relationship outside of self as a friendship is separation and self-dishonesty. So why is guilt actually really experienced within human beings? Because they've been self-dishonest towards themselves. And whether aware or unaware, Human beings realize this, and that's why guilt is experienced. Because you cannot then take self-responsibility for you in a certain moment, in certain circumstance, because you feel guilty for someone else, separate, outside of you. So guilt is the constriction of you inside yourself as a mind system, and so you remain as a tree of mind system life as guilt constantly continuously when actually the real situation is as follows those human beings you haven't stood within and as oneness and equality as you you did not trust you as who you are and you were not self honest with you as who you are in looking at the situation as one and equal as the human beings, in self-honesty as you. So how do we change the past to guiltlessness? Let's take the situation as described by the design of guilt as entrapment. Now years after that, that memory, that past experience still exists in your mind. That guilt is just compounding and compounding within you as you. As it's compounding, you're suppressing the guilt even more, even further. Then you go into a cycle, continuous cycles of remaining away from friendships and relationships because of what you experienced in the past. And then you isolate yourself from friendships and relationships because of that guilt from the past existing within you. So how do you release the past of guilt to live guiltless here in every moment of break? You place those beings inside you. It's say both the woman and the man that was in the situation. Place everyone within you as you, one and equal, here. Then you look at the situation again. You look at the situation from each and every single human being's perspective. 
in self-honesty as you. Why do this? Because in, in self-honesty as you, you have a look at how you participated, how you responded, how you spoke, how you communicated, and why you have accepted and allowed yourself to exist in guilt, constantly and continuously. Why did you think you were responsible for the situation? When you were literally not. Guilt only exists when you think you did something wrong. When you think it was your responsibility that apparently affected others' lives, and it was actually their entire creation and manifestation. Now this does not mean that you're not taking self-responsibility. This does not mean that you're denying anything. No. You're in the process of releasing yourself from guilt. Because guilt is the past connector. Guilt is the mind connector. Guilt is the emotion that connects you and leaves you in the past as the present year of the mind consciousness system. So you look at the woman and the male and you look within self-honesty as you, what you would have done. The girl comes and says she slept with this girl's boyfriend. Now you place you in her situation, her situation, his situation. What does she have to go through within her process? She has to realize there are consequences when you deceive yourself in allowing yourself to sleep with your with another woman's boyfriend. What does this girl have to learn whose boyfriend slept with this girl? She cannot trust anyone or anything within her existence or in her process. It's a tough lesson, yes. But it's not that it's a lesson, it's a realization. Because this girl placed her trust in her boyfriend. And now you have a look within yourself. What is your process within all this? To realize that as you place yourself in each one as you, you take self-responsibility, you stand up, you speak within and as self-honesty as you. And then you clear the guilt within and as you. Because you stood up and take responsibility for you in self-honesty of you in that moment. Human beings, again, when you experience guilt, then you stop for a moment. Look, why are you accepting allowing yourself to experience guilt? Why are you taking the situation personally instead of taking everything within you? Looking at the situation of self-honesty as you, standing up and taking self-responsibility.